Hi everybody, so I get asked quite a bit actually, what do I do when I need time to change the roll? Well, I'm doing another massive print, I've put the Archimedes screw on hold because a friend of mine, Peter, came up with these NACA airfoils that the Aeromine is supposed to use and I want, oh, I've wanted to do the Aeromine for ages but I figured that building one by hand would take me a long time but when the 3D printer came along I thought well just set them to print all I've got to do is find some of this and Peter did this for me on CAD which he's a CAD ace so it apparently it took him about five minutes and it would probably take me about ten years but anyway he did them for me and decided to swap the printing and I'm doing these Air Force the Aeromine which we'll look at in another video but it does mean that I'm using several kilos of rolls and it means I'm going to have to change the rollover and people say what do you do about pausing the printing well I don't I haven't paused the printing since I've started printing what I'm doing is when it comes time the rolls nearly out now and I'm still here obviously is I swap them over let me show you how okay it's down to its last turn on the spool so I just pull the rest off put it to one side Put a new spool on. There we go. And then I pull the rest of this through the sensor. Don't like that. And as you get it towards the end of the sensor, just stick your next piece in and push it through. Now, the sensor's always on, so it'll continue to print to use up this last little bit because it thinks it's still got filament. So let's wait for that last little bit to print. So it's printing that last little bit right there, and that goes surprisingly quickly. So all I do is grab the filament and wait for that bit to feed through. And just as it disappears, I feed the next bit in and give it a little bit of force and you can feel it pushing against the filament you've just put in. And you'll feel once it's grabbed it, because you can't tug it out again, a little bit of a tug will tell you. And you just follow that, you rest your fingers on it, you'll feel it feeding through as the cogwheel turns. There you go, that's the filament changed. So there we go, it may not be the best practice, but it works for me and I've not had it snag or catch and I've been doing that on the large prints and like I say, not had to pause the printing once. So I thought I would share it with you because people have asked what do I do about pausing printing? Nothing, I haven't had to do it. So thank you very much for watching and I hope the tip is some help.